Yeah, yeah go ahead, man. Far away. Coach, uh, obviously, i got to ask you about your thoughts on uh, AD's 55. I mean, it's, it's a great game, but it's a great streak. What clicked? Um, obviously, it's health, but what else? I mean, that's the key. You know, whenever he's healthy, feeling great about his body, you see those types of performances. And so uh, it's just been fun to watch, fun to be a part of, great for our, our ball club. Um, and the guys really being inspired by his performances and really wanting to see him thrive and excel at that level. That We all know, uh, we all kind of have an idea of what he's gone through the last couple of years, battling all through all of those injuries and being out, being on, being out, being on the floor. like. So for him to come out like he's come out this season and sustain it and just get better and better and better, deeper in rhythm, it's, it's been a joy to watch. And um, he deserves it, man. That kid really, really cares. He's genuine. I love being around him every day. Um, and he's just, he's been a pleasure, just a huge pleasure to coach. Uh, LeBron is six on the assist, assist all-time leaders, and he added a few more assists tonight. I mean, is that something that you are emphasizing with him? I know he's been doing it for a while, but just getting your teammates involved and keeping them going throughout the games as well? Absolutely. I mean, that's been a huge part of what we're, we're, we're trying to establish, what we're, tr we're trying to establish night in and night out, and that's uh, being organized, sharing the ball, playing with the pass. You know, it's it's one of those things where it's a key principle, a key pillar within our program. And, um, you know, he's right up there at the top of the list. You know, whenever him, whether it's him, Russ, Dennis, even AD, you know, a lot of times, he, you know, he had a lot of breakouts. Once he got the defensive rebound, we want him to push it as well. But whenever we're initiating things and we're able to stay organized, that's that's like the cherry on top of the Sunday. Tonight was a dominant win for the team. Beginning of the season started off a little rough. What has contributed to the turnaround that we've seen as of late? I just think our willingness to, uh, to look at our mistakes in the film room, to go through them on the court and on the practice court and acknowledge them and try to sustain the things we were doing well and change the things that we weren't doing so well. So. It's just been, again, the three words I always use with our team is competitiveness, togetherness, and accountability. And, and that, I think what you're seeing is a result of us being able to hold ourselves accountable and address some glaring mistakes that, were, that was happening early on during those, that time of 2 and 10. And now, guys seeing the transition that we made as a team to playing more great possessions, more so than than the bad possessions. The bad possessions are dwindling and uh, the good possessions are increasing and are more consistent within our program. And uh, my hat's off, you know, because the work is not done. We're 22 games in now and we just we just got to keep stacking, keep getting better and uh, try to sustain it as, long, as much as possible. Hey, Coach, I wanted to piggyback off. You just said 22 games in. Yeah. So with 22 games in, what's been the biggest positive you've seen from this team so far? Um, just their willingness to grow. And that, like I just mentioned, the, the willingness to, to watch film and, and to go through the process and hold yourself accountable and try to be better, to be a better individually, better as a group. And um, the interactiveness of throwing, throwing, bouncing ideas off of one another and uh, just, just engaging one another, whether it's conversation, whether it's pointing out different things in film, um, the guys figuring out different actions that work during the course of the game, a defensive coverage that we may want to switch to, or you know those types of things. But just everyone just being involved. And then we know LeBron with the physical. He just in year twenty. You just talk about the mental side of his game. I don't think that's really talked a lot about. And just what you see from him on that side of the ball. Just learn how to be way more efficient with his movements. Um, being efficient with you know, not trying to beat the world. Um, being smart about it. Uh, allowing his teammates to help to help him um, and just encouraging guys you know he's like a coach on the floor a coach in the film room you know he's sharing his IQ wondering he just doesn't talk to prove how smart he is I mean he talks and engages guys to try to help them with their vision and the way they should see certain things and so 
for that, my hat is off to him. You know, he's really been engaging with myself, my, his teammates, other coaches. Like, it's been it's been great being around him. Darwin, uh, my apology for coming late. I'm sure you've already spoken no, about. I just started early, Dave. <laughs> Dave. Uh, I'm, I'm sure uh, <laughs> you've already talked about. You guys wasn't here before the game. <laughs> So you talked about AD, but he's playing so well, it probably can't hurt to ask a couple more questions about him. Sure. Uh, what, what ingredients are going into this? I mean, how much is it on him? How much is it on the teammates? How much is it on health, health your coaching? Like, wh what what do you see as, as the ingredients to this stretch for him? Just the, the first and foremost thing is his health. I think he's feeling great. His body is feeling great. Um, he has some, a, a few back issues early on, but... You know, he's worked his way through them, and you could just see it in his face as well as you see it in his play. His, he, he's having fun playing the game of basketball pain-free, and um, the guys know it. They know that I make him a, a top priority in terms of who we need to play through in order to, again, make everyone ev everyone else's life a lot easier. And so, uh, you know, Brown is still going to be Brown. Russ is still going to dominate in certain segments of the game. but. The consistency of AD from, from quarter to quarter, half to half, just being able to go to him and get some good every time. He's not settling. You know, he's really attacking the rim, um, getting himself going, jump shot going from the free throw line, uh, knocking down threes. So it's just like he's really in a good space, defending at a really, really high level. Um, I just think he's feeling good. His body's feeling good. And it's, you know, it's being, it's being, um, shown through his play and his statistics just last year lebron averaged 30 points per game uh d does it take something like this from a, a teammate of his to like grab the torch because he's still excellent he could probably up his numbers if he needed to but do you think like this is like a shift in terms of hey if ad's gonna go out and grab it like hey let's let's all line up behind him and lebron included absolutely and i've been putting ad's name on it since day one um and it, it does help brian Excuse me. It allows him to be more efficient with his energy, more efficient with his workload. Um, there's times where, again, we can go through AD and just feed AD, feed AD, feed AD, and then we're not worrying about Brian having to, you know, be a world beater or trying to make plays through three or four people and Russ in the same boat, you know, not allowing him to be able to play more freer. Um, so, yeah, AD, and he wants it. He wants to be that guy. He wants to be the guy for the team. And um, I think it's beautiful to watch because his teammates, they're encouraging him. They're trying to give him the ball any and every possession. Um, and it's, it's, been, it's just been cool, man. They, they, he, he has everyone rallying around him and just thrilled by the way he's been playing. Um, sticking a little bit on that, but also narrowing his jump shot. I mean, the... At the start of this run, it seemed like the defining trait was he was scoring in the paint, going to the rim. The last two games especially, he's really kind of found his range again. Is that a competence thing? Is that a form thing? Is that a rep, rep it out thing? What, what have you observed? I think it's all of the above. Right? And, and, and again, I think the confidence comes, once again, I can't stress it enough, him being healthy. And not just healthy, but him being in great, getting in great, great tip-top shape and being able to play pain free and then once you know once you're in that space physically you, his game speaks for itself i mean he's just a that's people hadn't seen it in a while because you know he's dealt with different injuries but now they're seeing it and it's nothing that he's added he's always been able to shoot deep always been great on the post great at the elbow jump shot great going to the rim um i'm encouraging him to get the defensive rebound and push it in transition more uh, just explore, just explore his game, all every facet of his game, and you know his teammates are feeding off of it. They draw energy from that, so uh, it's, it's been great. It's, it's really helped our ball club. We wouldn't be in the position we're in right now without him playing at that level. I also, just wanted to ask you about the the philosophy of closing the game. Um, you said before the game, uh, I, I want to go with the five guys kicking ass. Um, you had LeBron, AD, obviously, then Russ. Dennis, Pat, what what were you looking for out of that group, and how would you evaluate the, the fourth quarter stretch run there? Well, just getting guys out there. We needed to get back to defending and getting stops. We had some slippage in that third quarter that kind of bled over into the fourth quarter. Um, but we had to right the ship, and, and, you know, Dennis has been great, picking up full court, turning the guard, turning the ball handler, 
um, being really scrappy. We all know how scrappy Pat Bev is. Um, Brian AD taking the challenge against Porzingis. Um, and, 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 and Russ, you know, being able to get in there, get defensive rebounds and whatnot. But uh, I just wanted to get guys out there to get us back to defending. We defended our butts off in that first half. And again, the slippers in the third quarter, it, it, it was very, very frustrating. But thankfully, you know, we were able to right the ship and close out the game. Darvin, to kind of zero in on, on this with AD, um, I think we we all have seen, obviously, his talent and his poten like, potential. So weird. I mean, he's one of the 75 best players. You know, it's not potential, but... Um, there has been something, I don't know, a reluctance maybe to, like, fully dominate in this fashion. Uh, what do you think it was that got him over the hump? Was it that stretch without LeBron where it was sort of like that was the lone road forwards? Or, or was it uh, was it anything said? Or, or I mean, we've been talking all summer about him just, just being a go-to guy. Like, like I told him, none of this is going to work if he's not right. Not only healthy, but and not only available to play, but playing at an extremely high level, which he's doing right now. Um, I've said that to him, to the team, to you guys. Like, hey, hey, we need AD to be special in order for us to get to where we need to get to, and uh, that's only going to bring enhancements to Brian, to Russ, to Dennis, to everybody, Lonnie, Austin. Like, that's going to make their life so much easier. And then you know, Brian goes down for a couple of three games and. He just takes off, and then Brian is encouraging him. Brian comes back, you know, let AD be AD, continue to be AD. And um, it's been awesome. And A is just such a selfless player. You know, a lot of times people think he's, we're not calling stuff for him. He just wants the right play. As skilled as he is, he just wants us to play the right way and make the right play, even if the right play is the ball not really touching his hands. But, again, we would be fooling ourselves if – we didn't think that he needed to have the ball in his hands. I was going to say, he that, to have that looked like the right play tonight was yeah. to make sure that he got the ball. Yeah, so he, he, he's, uh, he's, he's totally picked up the torch, um, and he's running with it. And, and, and he's bringing us all along for the ride. It's, it's great to see. Echo, 